Hello friends, welcome to Wisdom is Power channel. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. And don't forget to click the notification bell to receive more wisdom videos like this. Thank you. So today we're going to discuss about Ohm's Law. Ohm's Law was introduced by George Simon Ohm. And this states that the current is directly proportional to the voltage and inversely proportional to the resistance. This statement means as the voltage increases, the current is also increases. When the voltage, voltage goes down, the current also goes down. This is statement is true as long as the resistance is constant. So Ohm's law equation simply can be expressed I is equals to V divided by R, where I is the current expressed in ampere or simply A, V is the voltage and the unit is volt or simply V. And R is the resistance expressed in ohm or the Greek letter omega. It is easy to remember the Ohm's law formula using the Ohm's law triangle. Say for example, if the missing part is the current or I, it simply, you simply divide voltage by the resistance. And if the missing part is the resistance, then divide voltage by I. And if the missing part is voltage, voltage is equals to I multiplied by R. So let's have some sample problems. So find the current flowing in a resistor having a resistance of 50 ohms if the voltage across the resistor is 230 volts. So let us write first the given. So R is equals to 50 ohms and volts is equals to 230 volts. So obviously the missing part is the current. So current is equals to voltage divided by the resistance and substituting all the values given, that will be 230 volts divided by 50 ohms and you will get 4.6 ampere. Next problem, an electronic device has a resistance of 20 ohms and a current of 15 amperes. So what is the voltage across the device? So again, let's write first the given. The given R, R is equals to 20 ohms. I, which is current, is equals to 15 ampere. So the missing part is the voltage. So voltage is equals to current multiplied by the resistance. So substituting the values, 15 amperes multiplied by 20 ohms, and you will get 300 volts. Problem number three. A subwoofer needs a household voltage of 110 volts to push a current of 5.5 amperes through its coil. So what is the resistance of the subwoofer? So again, let's write first the given. So voltage is equal to 110 volts and the current is 5.5 amperes. So the missing part is the resistance. So our equation will be voltage divided by current. So substitute the values, 110 volts divided by 5.5 amperes, and you will get 20 ohms for the resistance. So before we continue, again, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. And don't forget to click the notification bell to receive more videos like this. Thank you. Before we go to another problem, I, I will discuss first the prefixes. So if you want to learn more on prefixes, uh, try to watch my video regarding the prefixes. Now we have here different prefixes uh, and each prefix word has their corresponding value. 
So if the resistance of a certain object is 500 kilo ohms and a current of 20 microampere flows through it, find the voltage. So again, we will write the given first. For resistance, that is equals to 500 kilo ohms. This time, we have to consider the value of the prefix kilo. So from our table, kilo means times 10 to the positive 3. So we will write 500 times 10 raised to positive 3 ohms. The same thing with current. We should consider the prefix word. So this is 20 microampere. That will be equal to 20 times 10 to the negative 6 ampere because micro means or equivalent to times 10 to the negative 6 ampere. It is very important that these prefixes should be considered every time weeks we encounter them in a problem. So using our equation to find the voltage, voltage is equals to I multiplied by R. So simply substitute all the given values. Then you will get the product of 10 volts. Next problem, find the current through a device of a resistance of 2 kilo ohms if the voltage across the resistor is 6 millivolts. So again, writing the given, we have here resistance is equal to 2 kilo ohms. So the value of kilo again is 2 times 10 to the positive 3 ohms. And for the voltage that is 6 millivolts, we all know that milli is times 10 to the negative 3. So we write it like this, 6 times 10 raised to negative 3 volts. So since the missing part is current, so simply the equation will be current is equal to voltage divided by R and substitute all the values given. That will be 6 times 10 to the negative 3 volts divided by 2 times 10 to the positive 3 ohms. So you will get 3 times 10 to the negative 6 amperes. Since we all know that times 10 to the negative 6 is equivalent to micro, then we can simply rewrite the, the answer to current is equal to 3 micro ampere. So another problem for Ohm's law, how much resistance is needed to limit the current from a 48 volt battery to 2.4 milliampere? So writing the given, we have the voltage is equal to 48 volts. This time, we do not encounter a prefix word in the given voltage. But in current, that is equals to 2.4 milliampere. So we have to consider the prefix value of the current. So that is 2.4 times 10 to the negative 3 ampere. So solving for the unknown value, R is equals to voltage divided by current and substitute the given values to our equation. That will give you 48 volts divided by 2.4 times 10 to the negative 3 ohms. And you will get 20,000 ohms. Or simply, R is equals to 20 kilo ohms if you're going to write it in a prefix form. So that's it. That's the end of our discussion. Thank you very much. And see you on the next video.